I kind of want to know what your opinion is on this, because the story of what's happening in downtown Portland is being told two different ways, I think. And at some point, it comes down to who do you believe? Do you believe the federal government or the protesters and their allies? See, today, Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Chad Wolf gave a briefing along with the leaders of the Federal Protective Service and Customs and Border Patrol. No surprise, they characterized the protests in Portland as chaotic, with protesters being the ones driving the violence. Now, as you know, Secretary Wolf did not meet with the local media when he visited Portland last week, so we've had to rely on national media to ask him questions like today. And one of the first questions was about this video. You know this video. We've showed it to you a lot. We showed it a ton last week. It shows federal officers with Customs and Border Patrol walking up to the guy dressed in black, and they put him in that unmarked SUV. That video changed the way people viewed the federal involvement in Portland. And today, Secretary Wolf defended it. Here's how. This is a very difficult environment to work in when you have 500, 600 violent individuals, violent criminals across the street from you trying to inflict harm on your property and at law enforcement officers. We do our best to identify who they are using that probable cause. What we don't do is we don't go into that crowd. We don't try to go into a violent crowd of 400 people and try to arrest people. That's, that's dangerous for our law enforcement officers. It's dangerous for those individuals as well. So we try to identify individuals uh, as best we can, again, working with the entire federal uh, presence there in Portland and address it that way. But So they're not denying what you saw in the video. They didn't deny leaving federal property to make an arrest, but they said they still had every right to do that because they witnessed someone commit a crime on federal property, and that was the probable cause they needed to make an arrest. But Oregon State Representative Janelle Bynum, frankly, uh, doesn't believe them. And she says, if you do, you're ignoring the obvious. I would say some people just don't believe fat is greasy. I mean, that's, <laughs> that is such a crock. Um, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, those statements are intended to make you believe that you're crazy and that you're not seeing what you're seeing. Everyone knows what their intent is. Their intent is to stir distrust, to stir fear. Um, to have a, a strong man showing um, about how much muscle they can uh, employ in a particular city. This is uh, nothing more than uh, gaslighting and uh, an attempt to intimidate. Other than a gut feeling on that, what have you seen that would provide proof to that, to that, that stance? I don't quite understand your question. What have you seen that would make you believe that all of the things that law enforcement were saying were embellishments or lies about them, them not canvassing the community, um, that they weren't rounding up people, that they were targeting people who they had suspected with probable cause as being violent individuals who had targeted federal officers or property? I think um, this is why it's so important for people to know American history and particularly for African-Americans. I, I didn't grow up in Oregon, and so I was the beneficiary of a lot of um, teaching of black history from uh, the beginning of, of slavery, the beginning of this country, um, to what we see today. And, and there are parallels. Um, whenever you can put fear in people's hearts and minds, it makes them uh, forever your subject. So we've got Secretary Wolf saying officers had probable cause, and then you have Representative Bynum calling uh, BS, for lack of a better term. This is the part where it usually comes down to who do you believe? I mean, get emails every night about who you believe, though I would much rather rely on facts. So we tried to find out if the probable cause, what it was in that arrest that we saw in the video. See, last week, Border Patrol claimed they had, quote, information indicating the person in the video was suspected of assaults against federal agents or destruction of federal property. But here's the thing. So we ran a search for an arrest record from that night and we couldn't find anything. We're still looking, of course, just because we haven't found it doesn't mean there's nothing there. But for now, we're kind of back where we started. So do you believe the feds, what they say, and they had probable cause, or do you believe the folks who say that they're lying? Because at this point right now, we really don't have any hard evidence that either are true yet. But it is certainly a discussion that emphasizes the importance of transparency in regards to public trust and civil discourse.